Hello, my name is Patrick Fleischer, and I am here representing Materials Resources LLC, or MRL, a small company based in Dayton, Ohio. While the scope of MRL's R&D effort is broad, and we have developed several technologies at the forefront of materials characterization, the presentation today will be limited to our newest technology, Typolar. Over the next 10 or so minutes, I will share a little more about MRL and who we are, what Typolar is, and the needs it addresses, and what makes Typolar so much more effective than competing technologies. As I mentioned, MRL is situated in Dayton, Ohio, just a few miles away from Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, where we are a contractor for their Materials and Manufacturing Directorate. Since 2010, MRL has secured 34 SBIR and STTR contracts. We are an established and trusted engineering firm with a focus on additive manufacturing and materials characterization. To that end, we have structured MRL as a fast factory. We have all of the tools necessary to take an idea from conception to a finished product. The list of capabilities that you see here, including powder bed fusion additive manufacturing, CNC machining, and high throughput mechanical testing is not exhaustive, and we continue to add both the personnel and machinery necessary to keep MRL positioned at the forefront of advanced technologies development. As the systems employed by the Navy grow ever more complicated, with some subsystems nearing theoretical material performance limits, the Navy identified the need for more sophisticated qualification measures. In particular, the Navy is looking for a comprehensive model-based approach utilizing computational materials engineering to qualify aircraft parts. MRL developed Typolar to fulfill this need. Before we get into Typolar, I need to give you a brief overview of the technical concepts involved with this challenge. Titanium components in particular have a crystal structure called microstructure or microtexture at the surface level that is heavily dependent on the manner in which the component is created. For example, a forged component will have a different microstructure than a cast one or an additively manufactured one. This crystal structure, in turn, has a significant impact on each component's mechanical properties, such as its strength and fatigue resistance. Therefore, it is necessary to directly observe and quantify the material structure to ensure that no defects are present and that the part will perform as intended. The existing methods for quantifying the structure are metallographic etching, which uses etchants to expose structural information on the titanium surface, and EBSD, or electron backscatter diffraction, which leverages an electron microscope and a special detector to probe the material structure point by point on its surface. These techniques are extremely limited, however. Etching does not reveal much information and is relatively imprecise, and EBSD is very slow, expensive, and requires the use of a vacuum chamber which severely limits the size of what can be scanned. Typolar addresses each of these shortcomings. It is an optical microscopy technique, and as such, it does not require a vacuum chamber. Typolar is also extremely fast, about 1,000 times as fast as modern EBSD detectors, which drives the cost to scan down and opens the door to very large scans. MRL has scanned samples as large as 4 inches by 4 inches, with plans to scan 12-inch diameter forging slices in the near future. Characterization at this scale and resolution is effectively impossible with EBSD, as even if you had a machine with a vacuum chamber large enough for the sample, such a scan would take weeks or months to complete but can be completed in only a few hours with Typolar. Finally, Typolar has a small footprint, about three feet by three feet. It can fit into any office and is inexpensive compared to electron microscopes. At present, our Typolar S system is fully developed and available for purchase. We have already delivered one unit to the Air Force Research Laboratory at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, and we have two systems in-house that we use for customer scanning services. As part of the Phase II SBIR effort, 
we continue to improve the system and expand upon its capabilities. In just the past year, we have completed optimizations yielding substantially increased speed, data quality, and system manufacturability, all while reducing data size and improving usability. We are currently implementing algorithms that allow for the imaging of curved surfaces with the ultimate goal of characterizing arbitrary surface shapes. So to recap, Typolar is an optical imaging microscope that operates in air, which means sample size is not constrained by the need for a vacuum chamber. This also increases throughput as there is no vacuum chamber pump down process. Typolar is compatible with standard microscope objectives, which allows the user to tailor the magnification to the microstructure being imaged. As a result, very fine lath structures can be characterized with no more difficulty than cast microstructures. Finally, Typolar is also substantially cheaper than competing technologies and could therefore be adopted by a wide range of companies and organizations. As mentioned previously, MRL has completed development of Typolar S, which is a system designed for samples up to three inches wide by two inches tall. We are working to develop Typolar MT, which incorporates curved surface characterization, as in the case of mechanical test samples. Future plans include a large format Typolar system for samples as large as one square foot and a robotic arm mounted system for large arbitrary surfaces. Over the course of Typolar's development, MRL has performed hundreds of internal scans, including validation by comparison to EBSD. With the introduction of Typolar S, our first commercial system, we have extended its use to government, industry, and academic customers as a paid service. We have already completed hundreds of scans for these customers and at a significantly reduced cost to them relative to EBSD. We expect continued revenue from these services in addition to revenue from system sales and from data consultancy services from our in-house team of materials experts. With Typolar S development completed, MRL is ready to scale production and begin taking orders. It is the only technology that is capable of rapid, large-scale characterization and validation of titanium products for quality control purposes. We are eager to engage with forward-thinking partners who can imagine how their processes may be improved by the data that Typolar provides. Typolar is an extremely capable, compact, and cost-effective solution for microstructure orientation mapping in titanium. There is no other technology that comes close. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this presentation. We at MRL are very excited to release this technology and get it into the hands of customers where we believe it will be an indispensable tool. If you are interested in Typolar and would like to know more about how it may be of use to you, or if you require data validation materials, please don't hesitate to reach out to any of us using the information you see here.